the polygon modeling panel. So I'm going to go up and I'm just going to put a box in here, create a box, and I'm going to pick on it, and I'm going to convert it to an editable poly. Once I have an editable poly, now I have my modeling tab is up here, and I have my modeling tab, and in my modeling tab I have polygon modeling. And so when I come over here, I can say, well, I can pick on the vertexes, let's say, and that's the same thing as coming over here and picking on vertexes, the edges. Uh, I can pick on the borders, on the polygon. So if I pick on a polygon, um, I can select a polygon from here. Now, I actually have a few tools here. If I hit the down arrow, I can uh, collapse a stack. Uh, is a tool in which all the modifiers um, uh, are uh, stacked to the editable poly object. So it collapses all the modifiers uh, if we had modifiers. If I have convert to poly, um, if the object has not been converted to an editable poly, I could do that here. Um, and I have generate topology. So over here I can generate topology. I can pick on this and I can come in here and pick on a procedural pattern. So a procedural pattern is a computer generated pattern and I can place that pattern on that object. So I got that smooth star pattern on there. I'm going to undo that though I don't really want to keep that. And uh, I also have over here, um, I have, in this button right here, I have the toggle command panel. When I toggle this, I lose my command panel that's over here on the right. So when I toggle that back on and off, I can turn that on and off. Um, the pin stack right here is used for locking the modifier stack in the model ribbon controls. And I can have over here the next modifier and the previous net modifier is used to move the selected modifier one step up or down in the modifier stack if we're using modifiers. Um, and I can say show end results and this will actually allow me to display the final state of the object with all the modifiers applied. Also over here I have use soft selection. Now a soft selection tool is only available for sub-object levels. So I can pick on that, and uh, let's say I'll go to vertexes here. I'll come over and pick this on, so I'll turn it on. And when I turn it on, then when I pick on a like a vertex, it picks then an area around that, uh, a color-coded area. And you can see over here, I have my soft, and I got a little bump, uh, bump out here. And now these are my settings for my fall off, my pinch, and my bubble here. So I can control how big this uh, color controlled area is. And then what I can do with this is I can come up here and say select and move. And now I can alter, in this case, a variety of vertexes, not just one. So I can use the soft selection here from my polygon modeling panel. So there's a lot of other ones in here we've covered in previous videos. Um, so I can have my previews, my sub -object, preview sub objects, preview multis, all these things we have covered in order the back, back facing. We have the various uh, sub levels here um, that I can choose. So um, but this polygon modeling, we just took a look at some of the tools that we haven't seen in previous videos, and we will cover the, the variety of panels here in upcoming videos.